Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to base entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty interesting show for you guys that we want you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into today, into today's show. Okay, I think it's going to be a very interesting one. Now, as y'all know, um, an article was published, a report. Uh, was published by the Washington Post about Jerry Jones, about an image that was taken some 60 plus years ago where he was at a rally. You guys can go hunt that information down. The information is out there. We've covered that. Um, so that information was there. And one major news um, sports media platform picked up on it, picked up on it and decided to discuss it. And that platform was ESPN First Take. And Stephen A. Smith came on the airwaves and he, you know, expressed his you know, displeasure and disgust with the fact that people were on a witch hunt or seemed to be on a witch hunt uh, for Jerry Jones, right? And he was there, da, 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 da. <clears throat> We published a show on it and we went at him. Now, what we want to do is we want to play his original comments. The reason we want to play his original comments is because we believe that it's going to give this show a lot of context because what the person said is in he, he's he is reacting directly to what Stephen A. Smith had to say on ESPN first take when that Jerry Jones story broke. So we're going to play that now and then come back and react to it. So take a listen to that there. Stephen A., your reaction to all of this. <sighs> I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this. <clears throat> I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones, and I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report said he was 14 years old. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question what was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should it was, be okay it was, it was, with it, it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as black people and as black folks, black men have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things and we all know it. Mm -hmm. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. What I'm saying is here's the part that bothers me. You want to get on Jerry Jones and his track record? Fine. In 2003 or so, you know what? You should have hired you, you, Dennis Green shouldn't have got an interview on the phone. It should have been an in-person interview. Right. You should have. Follow the letter of the rule of the law as it pertained to the Rooney rule. He wanted Bill Parcells, universally recognized one of the greatest football coaches we've ever seen. It was clear he wanted Jer Bill Parcells. Nobody else was going to have a chance of getting that job. That's what he wants to do. You want to malign him for that? Fine. You want to point out that he's one of seven black, uh, 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 NFL owners that's never hired an African-American as a head coach? Fine. Do all of that. Attack him for that. Go ahead. Yeah. No problem. I see a plethora of African-Americans employed by him. I see black players who've played for him who rave about this man and what he's done for them on a personal level. But if you want to go by his hiring record when it comes to head coaches, no problem. Can't go the executive route because we know it's him. You know what I'm saying? He want to be the president, the GM, the owner. He want to do everything. And then he's got his children that he leans on as well. So we can't go the executive route. But you want to get on him about the head coaches? Fine. But you're going to bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old. 65 or 66 years ago. We, this is, this is where cancer culture gets into the mix and you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for and all he has done. Yeah. I will remind you, we've had Senator Robert Byrd who passed away a few years ago. That was a member of the KKK. We've had other politicians, you know, whose record, who, who didn't want to de segregate, who didn't want uh, uh, desegregation. Right. The George Wallace's of the world, the Bull Connors of the world and others. OK, we've seen all of this. We've had elected officials on Capitol Hill that are implementing and legislating policy that affects our lives. And but we're going to go to Jerry Jones 
When, and, and by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old. 14, 15 years old. Right. So now some folks are going to get to look at Jerry Jones and who's from Arkansas. This is the South. We understand what the South represented. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, when, Pete, when, when slavery ended with the Emancipation Proclamation, you talk about 1863 or what have you. What did Dr. Martin Luther King talk about? Well, you didn't give black folks nothing. You, 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 rid, you ridded slavery from them, but you gave them no land. But you gave white peasants from Europe land in the West and the Midwest. OK, so we understand from an historical perspective where it all comes from. What the South represented at least once upon a time and in some people's eyes still to this day. But we're going to lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South. And we're going to pick it up 66 years <laughs> later to say, you know something. Yeah. So you heard what Stephen A. Smith uh, had to say there. Right. Before we get into this, uh, the, the the article here is it's, it's important to say that we were one of the platforms that was. Um, you know, infuriated with his response. Why? Because the thing to me was this. I didn't care. You see, if you notice, we didn't talk about the Jerry Jones story. I didn't spend any time about it. Oh, I was spending any time talking about it. Instead, my issue was for a person that seems to be always ready to jump up and criticize a, Kari, a, a Kyrie, a Kyrie Irving always has the energy to do this. When you see a situation like this, I was just disgusted that that was the first thing that came to you. He spent more time talking about why the image came out than what was actually in the image. That was my issue with it. And apparently, um, another um, one of uh, Stephen A. Smith's co-workers in Mark Jones, who works for CBS Sports, if I'm not mistaken, no, ABC and ESPN actually liked um, a tweet about it. So what I want to do, I want to read from this article here from fadeawayworld.net. So basically it says Sacramento Kings announcer liked the tweet that insinuated Stephen A. Smith favors white individuals, continues on the NBA or any sports league for that matter can never be as fun as it is without the presence of play-by-play -play announcers and analysis. They are the ones who make it interesting for fans with their amazing calls and equally great takes after the game. Veteran analyst Stephen A. Smith is arguably one of the best at what he does, he is a la he has he is laser sharp with his takes and never backs down from calling out anyone if they are in the wrong. But sometimes even Stephen A. Smith can make a mistake. For example, he was most recently caught on TV citing a report from the Twitter troll page Ball Sack Sports. Reported a story regarding James Harden and Kyrie Irving reportedly being in a physical altercation, but it was obviously fake. ESPN broadcaster Mark Jones li likes a clip blasting Stephen A. Smith. Apart from providing his takes about the NBA, Smith can be seen sharing his thoughts on NFL uh, from time to time as well. Stephen A. Smith recently defended Dallas Cowboy owner uh, Jerry Jones. However, not everyone agreed with Stephen A. Smith's defense of Jones. Bishop uh, Tal Talbert Swan used a video featuring a bunch of raccoons dancing to share the fact that he likes Smith support supporting Jones. Now we played. We I watched the video. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna play the video. But it's it's basically a bunch of uh, raccoons dancing and then they're playing some <laughs> they're playing some very very funny music. It's a hilarious clip when I when I saw, but we're not going to play it here uh, on the channel. And um, apparently, Mark Jones liked a tweet. We're getting this from Outkick, insinuating that colleague Stephen A. Smith is a C for defending uh, Jerry Jones, and he liked that tweet. So. Um, as you all know, as I just said, Mark Jones is also a staff member of ESPN and ABC. Here are my thoughts on this. What Mark Jones did is not, I don't think it's something outside of the ordinary. Him liking that tweet or that video is a sentiment that I think a lot of people share about Steve. This is not a secret. I'm not here breaking any news. A lot of people feel this way um, about him. Me personally, I personally believe that Stephen A. Smith has very little respect for blacks. It's just my opinion. Now, some people may disagree and all of it. And, you know, I think it's important that I touch on this point. We got to stop playing games with this situation. There are people that talk about race baiting. OK, and it gets into the political realm. So I'm not going to get into that realm because we're, that's where people like to BS you. So don't, I'm not going to get into that. But I've noticed that people talk, people that talk about race baiting are very, very, very sensitive about race and they like to stick their head in the sand 
um, and act like as if it doesn't exist. If you're going to be having that conversation where you want to live like a little baby, you know, you want to be a little kid and you don't want to face realities and act like and act like as if these things don't exist. And please spare us all where all of us are here adults and we can all have adult conversations. If someone brings up an issue that is existing, it's not race baiting. They're talking about it. Right. And uh, I noticed that people that say this, they talk about race, baiting, but they sit up there and talk about race all the time. It's a joke. So please spare us with your people feel like as if they're doing something. We all understand what you guys are doing. Talking about race. Bait. We're talking about what exists in reality. Where do you live? Where do you live? OK, you may think it's not real to you, but it exists. So that's all that matters. Now, to Stephen A. Smith's point, I've said that Stephen, uh, uh, back to Stephen A. Smith, I don't think that he res has any respect for blacks, period, in the story. I don't. Um, I think that his default position is to always, he's very easy to criticize blacks. It's something that he's been called out on on his show numerous times for. Guests have come on on the show and basically asked him this question. You saw Terrell Owens when he went up there and said, hey, bro, what's the problem? Max Kellerman seems to have more of a backbone for your community than you do. He took offense to, oh, I don't remember. It's all BS. It's all BS. In my personal opinion, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't take him seriously when it comes to these things because I've seen how he behaves, right? He doesn't have any respect for anybody. You know, um, he doesn't. He only has a respect for maybe one or two groups, and that's it. He has no respect for anybody else. Zero, zero. You go up there, you start making fun of various um, players from around the world, making fun of this guy. He has no respect for anybody, none, for nobody. So, uh, you know, if you like the po uh, the tweet, so be it. It's a free world, right? 